What is good YouTube, JPO Tech here and today I got a DIY video for you guys. I'm going to be showing you how to improve the buttons on your so older Sony Alpha cameras. As we all know, the latest A7R4 has great feedbacks on the build quality and the buttons and all the layout, everything is just great feedback. But the older ones are really flat and hard to press, especially that record button. But as you can see, I already fixed that problem by using Sugru. Now, if you don't know what Sugru is, Sugru is just a moldable glue that shapes into whatever you want. And then after 24 hours, it hardens like a rubber plastic. And it works great. As you can see, I did my AF MF button, which I have a shortcut for cropping because you know I use some crop lenses so I really need quick access to crop whenever I shoot videos or stills with an APS-C lens but of course more important is a record button that is so hard to press which actually is good in a way you don't accidentally press it but anywho sometimes I have missed shots where I intended to record but it didn't but now it works great. This is an awesome DIY to help you improve uh, the feel of your the buttons in your camera. And the rest of the buttons are really flushed down into the body, so they're also kind of hard to press. So I will be uh, customizing all these buttons. So my C3, I use it for my picture profiles, which I often switch around a lot. And also the playback button to review your shots i'm gonna improve that as well and possibly the other buttons as well so all we got left to do is check what colors we're gonna do with wish so yeah we're not gonna do yellow because i don't want to make turn this camera into a pentax now all you pentaxian out there know what i'm talking about pentax love their colors so i'm just gonna stick to two plain colors so the blue one i'll use it for the playback button and then the custom three button i just use regular black for the rest of the buttons so anyhow to get started we just need to open up the package and i'm going to warn you once you open the package you either should use everything in one time or if you're not gonna use all the super glue then you should seal it well if you want to reuse it in the future because it dries and it gets hard quick so all we really need is just a tiny little bit just a tiny little nudge that's enough for these buttons because these buttons are so small we really don't need that much and before we get started i actually forgot to wipe down the camera make sure that the surface you are gluing to is nice and clean and once everything is clean it should adhere to the surface a lot better now make sure not to use too much because if you use too much uh sugru you might get some of that glue in between the creases where the button is and you don't want to cause any damage to internally to the body so all you need is like a little little drop like a rice grain and what i did is i actually stuck it in there vertically vertically means up and down so the grain is standing up and i just press down on it gently gently while massaging it to make it nice and smooth and also you could just barely touch it just i'm just barely touching in the surface and it's actually making a difference and as you can see it's looking really really good so i only have the glue material on the actual button i do not cover the entire button so the crease is still there no it doesn't water seal your camera so I just did it very lightly and then we'll do the same thing with the other buttons. Just make sure you have enough for the top surface of the button and that's it. We don't really need that much. So I just need a little, that's actually a little bit too much. So I might divide this, break this up and use it on two buttons. All right. So what I like to do is I like to make sure there's no air bubbles. So I massage it and just roll it around, roll it around to make sure that there's no air inside. And once everything is ready, again, make it look like a little piece of rice, a grain of rice, and I press it standing up. Make sure you're nice and center on the button and then just gently start tapping down on top of it 
and you just gotta make sure you don't press too hard that it goes over on the sides and around and gets between the creases again there we go it's so easy to make it look really professional actually i'm digging the black one it's looking very native like a real button all right so you know it's looking so good we're gonna do the rest of the buttons i'm gonna do the fn key and also the center focus button so really quick let's do the fn one because like i mentioned these buttons are so flush into the camera they're really hard to press and hopefully this will help us find the buttons quickly and also actually press them because sometimes they actually don't press and that's it again just press it in there massage it around and sorry i'm off the frame here i'm trying to take a closer look and that is looking pretty neat Bam, so we just upgraded our old Sony Alpha cameras. Now this ain't no A7 Mark IV, but it's gonna feel really great on the hands. We're gonna have nice and um, tactile feedback on our buttons. So it's a great way to upgrade your older cameras. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the center button because that's another hard one to press. I sometimes end up pressing the actual wheel whether it's the white balance or the shooting mode. So I'm gonna add some Sugru to the center button. So when I do press the center button, it's actually the center button that I'm pressing. And again here, especially on this button, we wanna be careful not to get Sugru in between where the wheels are because that function is very important for my camera. Turning that wheel is very vital for controlling. Well, I have a set for controlling my ISO. So I really don't want to get no Sugru in there. But you could just massage it around. Oh, there goes my light. <laughs> my lamp just died. The battery is a USB lamp. But anywho, let's keep on going and just keep massaging it. Massaging it until you get the shape you want and make sure that the wheel is nice and clear. There is no debris inside. And if everything is a go, we are all set. There we go. We just upgraded our older camera sweet so now we just gotta let it cure overnight now sugar recommends 24 hours but of course i'm not gonna wait that long we'll be back in the morning and see how it looks all right guys so after letting the camera or actually the glue cure for all night well technically they recommend to let the glue dry for 24 hours, but I just couldn't wait that long. So here we are in the morning and it's almost lunchtime. So it's been drying for about 12, 14 hours. And even then it's good enough. The buttons are really hard and they have a good seal to them. So they have a great feedback. So I am really excited about this upgrade I did to my Sony A7S. It's actually brought back more life to the camera because it makes it even more useful, easier to use. Just really, really happy with this DIY. So there you have it. This is how we can use Sugru to upgrade our the body of the A7S. So it actually became like a mini A7R4. So I love to hear your comments, guys. Let me know what you guys think of this DIY project if you did enjoy the video I would really appreciate a thumbs up share if you like the video as well and also don't forget to subscribe and I hopefully see you guys on the next one peace